hi everyone. Uh, this would be a great time for you to uh, pause this thing and work ahead and try and find all of these derivatives using shortcuts. Hopefully you watch the extra examples that I snuck in there uh, right before this video. And then you can check your answers. Just click to the end of the video and look and see what I've got and then come back and rewatch anything that you didn't get. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of work my way through in case you did get stuck. Uh, this is written so that the last thing that happens is the addition subtraction. Again, to think about that, you could always just walk through PEMDAS. So exponents would happen first, and then, then it's just straight to the addition subtraction. Addition subtraction is really nice because that just means you look through one piece at a time. So I'm going to apply a power rule here since x is the base. I'll get a 5 thirds times x to 5 thirds minus 1, which is the same as 5 thirds minus 3 thirds, so we get 2 thirds. And then we'll have a minus for the x to the fourth. The four will drop down in front. And then the new power will be three. And then we have a plus. Here we're switching it up. This is no longer a power rule. That's an exponential function. So we'll get two to the x. And that'll get multiplied by the natural log of the base, which is two. And actually, I don't have any simplify. So just like that would be our answer. Okay, next one is also written so that addition, subtraction are the big operations, but there are some constant multiples in the mix. So we'll start with 14e to the x. I think I'm just going to go here because I don't think I'll have simplify again. So the 14 will just carry through. The derivative of e to the x is itself. That should be your favorite thing. How do you take the derivative of e to the x? You just write down exactly what you started with. e to the x is its own derivative. And then the plus will carry through. Then we have 3 times 5 to the x. So the 3 would sit there, and then the 5 would drop down. And when we multiply 3 by 5, we get 15. The new power would be 1 less, so that would be an x to the 4th. And then the minus will carry through. The derivative of a lonely x would just be 1. You can think about that as a linear function with the slope of 1, so its derivative is 1. Or you could think about it as x to the 1, so its derivative will be 1 times x to the 0. OK. Uh, next one requires a little bit of rewriting. So I'm going to think about this as, oh, no prime yet. This is just the original function. I'm going to think about it as z to the 1 half. That's the square root. And then a 1 over z to the 4 is the same as z to the negative 4. OK, so when we take the derivative, I think I am going to get some negative exponents. So I'm going to sneak it in right up here, h prime. Uh, the 1 half, this is a power. So big operation is addition. Power rule first, I'll get a 1 half z to the 1 half minus 1, which is negative 1 half. And then the plus carries through, but when I do the power rule, it becomes a negative 4z. And then 1 less than that power is to the negative 5. And then last one, the plus carries through. That's an exponential function, not a power function. So it's going to be 5 to the z times the natural log of 5. OK, so let's see if I were going to rewrite that. h prime of z is equal to 1 over 2 times the square root of z. Again, I don't care if you leave that z to the 1 half or if you rewrite it as the square root. Either is fine. Minus 4 over z to the fifth plus 5 to the z times the natural log of 5. OK, next one. Square root of 53 times t to the 7 minus pi e to the t plus e to the 4. OK, so sum and difference. Seen lots of that so far. Uh, this first one is a constant multiple rule and then a power rule inside of that. So r prime of t, I think I can get away with no simplification. I don't see negative exponents showing up. So the root 53 will just hang out, but then a 7 will drop down in front as well. But there's not really any nice way to combine that. So it's just going to be 7 times the square root of 53 out in front. And then this will become a t to the 6. The power rule knocks that down by 1. OK, then we have the minus hanging out. Pi times e to the t. So firstly, that's a constant multiple rule. The pi is a constant multiple. It will just sit there. 
Second, there's an exponential function, our favorite exponential function, e to the t. The derivative of e to the t is still e to the t. Okay, last thing, we have a plus e to the fourth. So that, e to the fourth, notice there's no t involved. That is a constant, so its derivative will be zero, which means we're actually done. Okay, so this one gets slightly more interesting. Uh, the big operation here, you would have to work inside parentheses first. So you'd square and add one, square and subtract one. And then the last thing you do is multiply. And we don't have a product rule, so that's not good for us. We're going to have to figure out how to rewrite it. And the way that you do that, in this case, is FOIL. So we get a y to the fourth minus y squared plus y squared minus 1. Uh, the y squareds actually drop out. That's really nice. So the function, I have not taken any derivatives yet. The function is really just the same as a y to the fourth minus 1. So now I've rewritten it with subtraction as the big operation, which means I can focus on the y to the fourth first. The derivative of y to the fourth is a power rule, 4y cubed. And then minus the derivative of 1, 1 is a lonely constant, so its derivative is 0. Okay, I'm going to have to move up a little. Hopefully people can still peek and check. I'll just try and show them all at the very end. Uh, okay, so q of z is z cubed minus z plus 2, all divided by z. So the big operation here is the uh, division. Uh, fraction bars are basically grouping symbols, so it's like there's parentheses around the top and the bottom, so you have to do everything in the top, everything in the bottom, and then you can divide. So no good, we don't have a quotient rule. The way that we'll deal with this is by saying I'm going to divide that z into each of those terms. So this is another one where we just rewrite the function. This is nothing about derivatives. We divide everything by z. So the z cubed divided by z gives me z squared. The minus z divided by z is a minus 1. And then we have plus 2 over z, which I'll want to write as a 2z to the negative 1. Which means that q prime is equal to, let's see, so big operation is now addition subtraction. So we'll focus on the z squared. Its derivative is a 2z. Then we have the minus 1, so that's going to be the derivative of 1 is 0, so it's just a minus 0, which we can skip. And then we have a 2z to the negative 1, so the 2 sits there, the negative 1 drops down. When we multiply, we get negative 2, and then the new power is going to be negative 2 as well. So when we're all done, we have q prime is equal to 2z minus 2 over z squared. Okay, and then very last one, I'm not going to write the answer on the blank, I'll just write it right here. It's actually nothing terribly tricky, it's just got a whole bunch of terms. I don't have to do any rewriting, this is just a fourth degree polynomial. So the big operation is all this addition subtraction, which means we just walk through one at a time. So the derivative of a 3 times a to the fourth, the 3 would stay there. The 4 would drop down, and when we multiply, we'd end up with 12. So we get a 12a, and then the new power is 3. Minus will carry through 2a cubed, so the 2 would just sit there. The 3 would drop down and multiply, we'd get 6. And then the new power would be 1 less, so 6a squared. All right, and then 7a squared, the 7 would sit there. The 2 would drop down, we'd get 14, and then the power decreases by 1, so we just have a 14a. Okay, and then we have a minus. The derivative of an a is just 1, and then last thing, we have a plus. The derivative of 12 is 0, so we actually don't get anything. Okay, so there's all of them except for the top one. So if you're peeking, checking, that's what you should end up with. Thanks for watching.